I'm ready. Okay. Now I'm ready. This thing. <laughs> you said, dang, uh, howdy, it's Ryan. And Angela. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay. okay. What day is it? Who are uh, we? I don't know. DBC. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's Saturday, y'all. So yes, you know man. what happens on Saturdays. Walmart. <laughs> yeah, in Walmart. Yeah. So we're driving to the Wally World because what are we getting? We're going to grab a few things for the tea party tonight. Oh, a tea party. Or nice. not tonight. This. See, I'm so. My groove is off. My are all discombobulated. I am. <sighs> um, at 11, I have a tea party that I'm attending, but also teaching at. Your what? I'm teaching about the Bible study at the tea party. I didn't know that. Huh. Nobody tells me nothing. <sighs> well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. It is. I just thought you were attending. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know you were the main speaker, guest of honor. I am the guest speaker. That's awesome. So what are we getting? Um, I want to look at some jewelry and look at a couple of sundresses. So I have a dress, but it's black, and my other dress is like hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly a tea party dress. So, and I don't want to wear jeans like I normally do. Like I'm always in jeans. So I thought, maybe let's go see if they have, you know, some, not summer dresses because that's the season is over, but somewhat fall-ish dresses. So we'll see. Oh, no, she did. <laughs> it's super bright in here. It feels super bright for some reason. I gotta get the camera further back. Hey! Whoa. Hey there. <laughs> I'm at the shop now. It's been a crazy morning. Oh, that's not good. I just spilled something. Let me take care of that. I'll be right back. I'm back. Well, what I was gonna tell you was it's been a crazy morning. Angela and I went to Walmart uh, and run to the donut store to get breakfast for the kiddos. And Angela and run back home pick up Nicholas take Nicholas to work because he had to go to work earlier today and I had to go to the bank it's been a crazy morning of errands phone calls <sighs> very little sleep very little sleep last night because our neighbor's dog was barking like crazy all night long all night long it was terrible now listen I've had the cops called on me before at our house because of our dogs barking. In the middle of the day, one of our neighbors didn't like that our dogs would bark in the middle of the day when they would stand right next to our fence, right next to our lab's territory, uh, our dogs would bark at them. In the middle of the day, it's daytime. Dogs have to go outside. They have to bark, they have to potty. They gotta do their business. They're gonna bark. But at 10 p.m., 11 p.m., midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., dogs barking, rah, 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 you know, that's, that's excessive, right? Our dogs sleep inside, they come inside night, at night, they come inside at night, they don't bark at night, they sleep peacefully and quietly. I ended up calling the local police department, I was like, hey, can you guys come check this out, because there's a dog just going berserk across the street from us. I haven't had any sleep. So they sent, a, they sent a guy out and he looked, shone his flashlight, and I guess, I don't know if they did anything, but that was ridiculous. Now, from someone who's had, you know, animal control called because our dogs were barking in the middle of the day, I get it, right? There's reasonable, but dogs barking in the middle of the daytime, being outside, is one thing. All night long, bark, 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 bark. That's, 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 that is unreasonable unreasonable. Somebody needs to handle that. So we didn't get a lot of sleep. So today's going to be a long one, <laughs> but I'm so excited to be here. Dang it, I did the accidental zoom again. My hand's on the wrong button on this camera. Good lord. So I cut my finger yesterday. Right there. Right there in the bend. You see that? 
Yeah, that sucked. I'm not going to tell you how I cut it. I'm going to let you all guess. <laughs> uh, and the winner gets an RNA Music sticker if you can guess how I cut my finger. Uh, but here's a little pro tip for you. New skin, liquid bandage. I put that on yesterday here at the shop, and it definitely helped. Uh, of course, took a shower this morning, so it all washed off, so i got to put some more on. Moron. <laughs> Only a moron would cut their finger the way that I cut my finger. But I'm going to put some more of this on my finger and be ready to go. Sorry, the camera is not steady. I've had too much coffee this morning, probably. Actually, I've not had any coffee this morning. I need some. All right, so let's get this on. Let's get it on. So excited. That burns a little bit. It burns. It burns. Ah. I've actually used this stuff before when I was practicing, and my fingers got really tore up from practicing, but I still need to practice. So I actually put this on my fingertips to kind of give me a few extra, you know, minutes or hour of practice. Got kind of nasty. I mean, it kind of got dirty on my fingertips bending the strings, but it it kind of helped a little bit if you want to keep playing even though your fingers are tore up. <laughs> I'm just a girl. <laughs> you, you don't look like a girl. <laughs> I've seen some that look like me. <laughs> <laughs> Were they Italian girls? No. I mean, my grandmother always wanted me to date an Italian woman. And, and you and didn't? I didn't because I don't know who it was. This was I was up north. Someone was like, yeah, after the age of 25, Italian women start doing more facial hair than you. Little did I know. That is a false statement. <laughs> Italian women after the age of 25 are pretty hot. They lied. They did. They lied. They, see, they were trying to. They were trying to like thin the herd, right? And then there's like a lack of Italian women in Texas. There's not a whole lot. No. See, we, up north we have the Italian festival once a year. Where all the Italians congregate together. They do. We have food and music and surprisingly polka music. I don't get that one, but we don't have that in Canton, Texas. No. We don't have anything in can't, do we? We have a Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> we have RNA Music. RNA Music. <laughs> She's like, whatever. She's like, Please don't film me. Don't film me. We have a Domino's Pizza that's we have delivering. Domino's. Papa John's closed down. Yeah. Jerry's Pizza could just open. couldn't make it in this booming town. <laughs> yeah. It's because Jerry's drove him out of business. Whatever.
so I'm just I think, all right, this is going to go just like this. And I have it. And I'm like, well, I can't do a little fun thing because he switches keys or, or same key, different patterns. Have you, you look tired. Have you played with Legend of Lima? Who? Legend of But beautiful. Beautiful, no, beautiful no, and tired. I got the Thank favorite. You. Yeah. Thank you for being beautiful. Yes. It's been a long day. And it's my day off. It's been, yeah, I've been up since 10 a.m. last night. I already talked about the neighbor's dog earlier. So loud. Normally I like dogs. I, don't know if I, go I, wanted, I wanted to execute that one. I did. You're just lonely. I just called the police. He was being mistreated. Speaking of dogs, Amy Morris, her Frenchie had puppy. This is me shaking my head. We just had a conversation about how we have way too many animals. We can kill one. It's a Frenchie. <laughs> Good lord, that is messed up. Get your dogs taken away from you after this. <laughs> we can have like one more. Like a French bulldog? Is that all you're doing? Is there, are they well, free? No. Oh. She's like, come over and live on them. If like, you're going to get a dog, get yourself a solid okay. border collie. It's like, okay, I'll come over and pet him. <laughs> what is that Chris has? Is he has French? a bull terrier, bulldog terrier. Flat face. Yeah. Like the same thing. What was the thing we saw in the. It was a French. At Target, in the buggy? Uh, it was a French bulldog. We have to move. <laughs> if it's free, I would consider it. I'm not paying for another dog. I like it. Well, that's where Ryan's guitar solo is going How much? I don't know. Yeah. We can't have it. We don't need it. Yeah. How much? When Mark put down the drums on it, he was like, man, this sounds like 10 We need to move out to the country. How many dogs do you have? have? We have four. Yes, it does. Oh, that's too many. And two cats. Well, yeah. It depends on what kind of dogs they are. Apparently well, Roxy's old. You know, Roxy's, Roxy's old. Yeah. <laughs> Roxy's been if Roxy dies, dies, you can have enough weight. Are you just hanging no, you there can't. with me though? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Roxy's yeah, my little actually, baby. You gotta uh, he doesn't need to have anything over there. I mean, they can get both. They are good, smart dogs. Yeah, they are. My border collie is the best. Yeah. It's alright. He's my baby. I hate dogs. Wasn't asking It's because you're evil. Because you're bitter. Oh, how many? Kind of dogs? a person hates no, dogs. How many tracks can you bass players? At your house? Yeah. Like Bitter bass players. They've got no souls. Like gingers. <laughs> he does that. The power? Not on this one, but on the power. Well, Tim and I just filmed a video about his Washburn acoustic. Oh, uh, there it is. Look at all those stickers. A couple of RNA stickers on that, on that mug right there. I got an old school Riff of the Day sticker on there, what? too. What? I got of one of those. No more. It, they, they're still a. Yeah, but they, they moved the, it, Yeah, but it. they shut down. It used to be a public site, right? Oh yeah. Now it's all secret. You have to know Super somebody. Super secret. You gotta know a guy. I know a guy. Uh, so we just shot a video talking about his Washburn acoustic that he got from us four years ago. So stay tuned for that. You'll probably see that after this vlog video. But we had a good time. Yeah, she was a blast. Thank you for. I might. Me. Well, I don't know if I'll pull any of that into this video, but. I don't have enough downtime anymore. I think I have enough downtime. I did the math. I, 81% of my my day is work. Hmm. 81%? That's a fair bit. Or sleep. That also included sleep. <laughs> I like to say, I did not sleep last night. That sucks. Dogs. Okay. Well, let's roll this bad boy. It's been rolling. I might Three, use snippets in two. there. <laughs> ah, okay. Howdy, y'all. It's Ryan. Uncle Book. I'm here with Uncle Book. Not the rest of the Jalapeno Overdrive, though. No, but you're part of the Jalapeno. I am part of part of it. If Paul would have stayed, we could have said he's the Jalapeno That's right. Overdrive. Well, we would have had a complete band. We would have had a complete Yeah, we would have. We could have, we could have jammed. We could have. We missed an opportunity. It's Paul's fault. It, dang it, Paul. The bass player. Dang it. Why'd you leave? Should have stayed, Paul. We could jam. All right. <laughs> well, I'm here. Yeah, it was a good time. How'd you enjoy the band practices? It was good. It was good. Those kids are, man, I'll tell you what. For all the crap that we give you about not getting your album done, <laughs> uh, you're making an investment in these other people. And that's pretty awesome. 
the delay in his album is because he's teaching like 40 other people how to rock. That's so, right. That's right. Yeah. That's, I'm going to use that excuse too from now on. That's I'm busy awesome. teaching. How, how are your students? <laughs> How's your album? Of course, you know, I got two albums and some students, but you know, what if... <laughs> whatever, whatever. But yeah, so it was great. We had a good day. Uh, you know, I'm really proud of all these kids. They've been working hard. And, mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> they've been really doing well. Definitely some highlights. This was the first probably full band practices. Okay. We've had partial band practices. So today was probably the first full, like with the vocalist that's supposed to sing. And yeah. They did really great. I think if some of those kids will stick with it, that... They're going to be some serious musicians. Yeah, absolutely. I hope they do. Yeah. We're keeping the music alive. That's right. <laughs> All right, man. So you're headed back home? Yeah, headed back to Longview. Have a safe drive. In case you were wondering where I'm from. People are crazy. Yeah. Longview, Texas. Epic metropolis of Longview. Coyote ha Haven of the East. Coyote, Coyote Haven. We, you got in, inside the city limits coyotes. My next door, yeah, the, the green forest area next to my apartment. I got coyote neighbors. <laughs> America. There's wild animals everywhere. Everywhere. You gotta defend yourself. That's right. It's it's true. It's true. <laughs> All right, man. So we'll be safe going home. I gotta go home. It is eight o'clock. It's been a long day for me. Ugh. Been up all night with the neighbor's dog barking. Hopefully it doesn't bark tonight. I'm probably gonna play some video games when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> I've played so much guitar today. Today's been a long guitar day. A lot of guitar. So I'm gonna play some video games. Then tomorrow's gonna be a big guitar day because I, I I gotta practice some of these songs these kids are playing. I got a part to play. A solo. I, I gotta practice it. Yeah, I gotta practice that solo. It's not that hard of a solo, really. I just you gotta practice. I just gotta you know I gotta connect the dots on that. So I keep putting it off. That's my old man alarm. Like when you have an alarm to remind you mm -hmm. take your evening meds. Oh man, I gotta take my meds. <laughs> I have to set myself alarms or I forget that I'm like, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to die. Just take blood pressure. <laughs> cool. All right, y'all. So that on that cue, we got to go. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I'm home. <laughs> Boys are playing video games. What are you playing? Fallout. Fallout. Mm -hmm. Biscuits be roaming the house. Biscuits, biscuits everywhere. It's been a super long day, very long day. So I think I'm gonna go uh, probably head off to bed, get some rest. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night and I would like to get some sleep tonight. So it's probably gonna wrap it up. I don't know if we'll film any tomorrow on Sunday. Probably not, I think this is probably a pretty good <laughs> Saturday vlog. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for uh, all the support for our little mom and pop shop and lesson studio. And we will see you in the next video. Until then, keep the music alive. Music needs you, we need the music. Keep it alive for the next generation. And my dogs are eating right now. So, all right, we'll see you guys next time.